giving this another go. I'm using a professional mic now, and I hope you can hear me clearly. In this show, I'd like to share how I channel my helping spirits. I'll give you some tips how you can also open up to your helping spirits and begin channeling too. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Everything seems to be working now. And uh, yeah, um, apologies to those who uh, showed up for my previous live and there were some technical difficulties, um, but now everything is in alignment for this show to be created. So here we go. So my name is Michelle Chimpaka, and I have been working as a professional healer and spiritual teacher now for around 13 plus years. And in that time, it has been an amazing journey for me as I've learned so much about mediumship and channeling shamanism. I became a Reiki master in 2007 and uh, also studied and became a certified hypnotherapist, transformational coach. I've done heaps and heaps of training. But, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to connect with my helping spirits and channel their messages for, you know, for our healing and for creating greater consciousness in the world. So how do you channel you know, a lot of people ask me that, how do I channel? I mean, in the beginning, honestly, it was very, it kind of happened spon spontaneously for me. After I became a Reiki master, um, I guess something happened. My Maybe my crown chakra was probably really activated and opened up much more than it had been. And I just started hearing voices for a while. I thought I was going crazy. I started hearing voices and my guides, you know, at the time I didn't realize they were just trying to connect with me and communicate with me. And the voices wouldn't stop, actually. I didn't know at that point in time how to manage it. I ended up going to see a famous healer called Chakorta Rai here in Bali. And I said, I really need your help. And he said, what's wrong? And I told him that I can't stop my helping spirits from talking. They just keep talking. I can't get any sleep. I'm exhausted. And so he said to me, it was quite funny. I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me. He said, well, you just have to tell them you have office hours and that your office hours are from, let's say, 9 till 6 p.m., and that after that, they need to leave you alone and just give you a break. And I kind of chuckled because it was just such a simple uh, response that I hadn't even considered the solution to ask my helping spirits to work with me within uh, a certain time frame. So I, uh, I, I did start doing that. And uh, of course, that did work. Um, however, if, uh, if I'm not paying attention during the day, they will pester me at night when I lie down and, and I sleep at night. And why is it that there's so much activity when um, in the night when we're getting ready to go to sleep? Well, it's mainly because we finally relax and we start to just shut off that logical left thinking part of our brain. And we allow the subconscious to move up to the, to the forefront and become an active participant. And so when that occurs, you know, this is when all the messages start to come through when we're working and operating from the subconscious mind. Um, we start to get our visions. We start to hear the messages from our helping spirits and ascended masters and so forth. So the key to channeling is to get into that state of mind when you're in your waking state. And so the best way I know how to do that is to go into meditation. Or some people prefer to call it contemplation. And so I sit very still, I sit quietly, or you can lie down. And you start by just really regulating your breath. So breathing in, perhaps, through the nose to the count of four. 
pausing and exhaling to the count of six. And for some people that have really nice uh, lung uh, capacity, you may want to change the rhythm. It may be more suitable for you to breathe into the count of six. Pause and breathe out to the count of eight. Find your own rhythm, whatever works for you. The out breath is always two longer than the in breath. So whether you do five in breaths, seven out breaths, or six in breaths and eight out breaths, it's up to you, whatever feels comfortable, comfortable for you. And begin to go into a place of deep relaxation, really deep. And once you find that the monkey mind, the logical brain has stopped chattering and you feel yourself moving into that kind of semi dream state, which occurs from around alpha to theta, when the brain goes into the alpha and theta brain states, we're moving into that dream state and it can either be uh, sleeping dreams or lucid dreaming. And you'll, you'll know when that occurs because you'll feel a kind of a change in your temperature in your body, or you'll feel a heaviness in your limbs. In some cases, some people will feel a lightness in their limbs. And, you know, there may be even some vibration or tingling feelings. Or if you don't have any of that, that's perfectly okay. Maybe you just feel deeply relaxed. And once you're there and you feel deeply relaxed, just ask for your crown chakra to open, to fully open up so that you can connect with your helping spirits the compassionate spirits that are here to be of service to our lives and really bring that intention. I am opening up. I am ready to be a channel for any of my helping spirits and only my helping spirits, my or compassionate beings that want to work through me and channel through me. And in the beginning, maybe it, you feel nervous or you're not, you're uncertain about this. You can start in slow baby steps. You can just ask them to come closer. You can ask your helping spirits to perhaps gently touch your hand or, or your shoulder until you feel really comfortable, really at ease with your connection with your helping spirits. When you feel it's safe, and only when you feel it's safe, and when you feel you're ready, that's when you can say, okay, I'm ready to channel. I'm ready to be an open channel for any messages you may have for me. I'm ready. And it's really amazing because uh, the energy that comes through is so uplifting and empowering. Uh, these are very high vibrational beings, yeah, our helping spirits. And so as we allow their energy to enter into us, um, it is really a beautiful and empowering experience. And sometimes we, we will receive messages as sentences or words uh, some of you who are more clairvoyant may see visuals like a movie, moving, moving pictures where um, there's a story being told and then you, you just do your best to interpret that story. I recommend that you have, you know, either a recorder or a paper and pen close by so that after you finish channeling, you can you know, quickly write down any notes or if you're comfortable to have the recorder going while you're channeling, you can just speak 
your message out loud and allow it to be recorded. Um, of course, it's good to ask your helping spirits if they're okay with that. Are you okay for me to do an audio recording? And uh, usually it's okay, but sometimes there may be private messages that they prefer that you don't record. So once you get their permission, you can hit the record button. Or if they say no, then you can just take those notes after you're channeling. And so just like with anything in life, the more that we practice, the, the better we get at it. You know, you know, for example, we want to get a toned body. And we don't go to the gym once or twice in the month and expect our body to get in this phenomenal shape. We work at it. We start going to the gym two or three times a week, or perhaps you start doing Pilates or yoga two or three times a week, and you're walking, and you're really committed to getting into shape. And so the results, you will you start to see the results perhaps maybe after one month, two months, where you feel your body is really starting to show uh, the results. You're getting toner, you're getting stronger, you're feeling more energized, right? Well, it's the same thing with spiritual work. The more that we practice, the better we get at it. So I encourage you, if you have the time, even just practicing five to 10 minutes a day is going to make a huge difference. And if you don't feel, for some reason, you don't feel like you have five or 10 minutes a day, I know we all do. But if you feel like, oh, I've just got so much on my plate, I don't know that I can commit to that, then at least commit to doing it three times a week for 10 minutes a day. And you will see the results. You will find that it gets easier and easier to channel. And it's exciting because you're, you've been working that psychic muscle. You've been working that um, skill. And you start to become adept at that skill. And um, I believe that, you know, we all have these abilities. It's just that we haven't. Um, remembered that in other lifetimes we were able to do these things, that we had these ex-women or ex-men abilities. And so for me, it's just about sharing these tools and um, helping people like yourself to remember um, that you have these powers within you and it's totally possible for you. Um of course, having said that, I, I do I do know that some people have a bit more of a natural talent for it, perhaps, and they just, for whatever reason, can do it right away. They just, um, you know, actually, that problem not for whatever reason. It's probably likely that they've been uh, working as a spiritual teacher or healer in many many lifetimes, and so they've had their practice already, right? They've done it in many many lifetimes. Um, so, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. Even if you're a newbie and you've never done this before, I believe you can do it too. I know it's possible. It may mean that you might need to work a little bit more at it. But if this is something important to you and you really want to learn how to do it, then I know that you'll make that effort. I know that you'll do it. And um, why do it? What is the benefit of, of learning to channel uh, I want to talk a little bit about that. I think the benefit of learning to channel is um, that we have this direct access to these high vibrational helping spirits who can give us insights to help us in our lives, to give us clarity, to help us with uh, decision making or our own uh, healing and transformational process, but not only to help us channeling can be of great service to humanity it can really be helpful to people in the world right now who are feeling lost who are feeling anxious um, of feeling really disconnected and alone sometimes just sharing those channeled messages can really be a lifeline for those people it can really uh, uplift them and give them new hope so I believe that, that channeling is 
a beautiful gift that we can share with the world. And absolutely, it can help um, help us on so many levels and, and, and things that I don't even know how it can help us. Um, I also believe that when we channel uh, these high vibrational helping spirits and compassionate beings, that it actually changes our DNA and helps us to uh, shift into a higher vibration. Um, and I, I feel that that's really beneficial for us on an energetic level to be able to move into higher vibrations um, with the help of our helping spirits. So I hope this information has been uh, of interest to all of you listeners today. I, I love sharing uh, about the spiritual work that I do. I really believe that it can support people to reach their highest potential. I'd like to, before I go, I'd like to um, connect with one of my helping spirits. His name is Chief White Eagle Feather. And um, I have been working with him for many, many years now. And he is very near and dear to my heart, um, as as all my helping spirits are. But I have a quite a special relationship with Chief White Eagle Feather because he helps me with so many things. He helps me with my uh, shamanic trainings. He comes in and guides me. He also helps me with healing and uh, you know clearing entities and so forth uh, for my clients. So today, as a special treat, um, to conclude this podcast, I'd like to channel in Chief White Eagle Feather, bringing in his energies now. Asking if he has any messages for us, how we can continue to evolve and fully access our highest potential. And the first message I'm getting from Chief White Eagle Feather is to bring light to as many people's lives as you can. And this can mean, you know, maybe even just sending a beautiful message on WhatsApp, words of encouragement, picking up the phone, calling a friend who pops into your consciousness, perhaps who's needing your support. I'm just intending to connect with the collective consciousness, sending love, sending prayers that we may all be able to shift into this new higher vibration of consciousness around the world so that we can create a new world, a better world together. United we stand. He's saying we must come together as a society that race and color have no uh, importance. The beings of light must come together now. There is no time to waste. You are all needed so much. We are grateful for your efforts and your work. Please take a stand. Do not be apathetic or complacent. There are those with power 
that wish to destroy this world. They do not want a heaven on earth. They only care about their own selfish needs. But all of you can stop this. Every day, connect into the collective consciousness. Send massive amounts of light and love to shift these lower vibrational energies to change this timeline so that we may all enter a new world of conscious beings living in a vibration of light and love, mutual respect, compassion and understanding. This is the only way forward. Please hear my message. Please act now. Whew. I just want to thank. I want to thank you, Chief White Eagle Feather. Oh, wow. That was a very powerful message. Thank you for coming in and sharing that with all of us. I, um, I am really humbled by your words and your love. It has been such a honor to be um, sharing this channeled message with all of you. If you've just come into the studio, thank you for coming. Be sure to listen to the uh, recording. It was a very powerful uh, channeled message and um, sending all of you so much love and gratitude. And I am planning to do more channeled messages um, every week. So keep an eye out for uh, my channeled messages and, uh, and have an amazing day or night wherever you are. Blessings always.